this afternoon. House Republicans are now demanding an explanation on how multiple terror suspects were allowed to get into the United States. All of this is coming from a letter that has been first obtained by News Nation. And Joe Khalil uh, joins us now with, uh, with more on all of that live from uh, the Capitol. All right, Joe, you've been looking into it. You have the letter. What do we know? Yeah, this is uh, something that was first reported here on News Nation. Lawmakers now raising concerns directly to Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, Homeland Security Secretary, about at least four cases of individuals who were on the terror su suspect watch list that either tried or successfully got into the United States. In three out of the four cases, uh, these people actually got in and were in the U.S. for extended periods of time before Homeland Security realized who these people were and then ultimately made their arrests. So we know that some of these people, for example, one uh, from Somalia, who had been in the U.S. for a year before DHS learned who this person was, another for an extended period of months, this person from Pakistan. So you've got these cases now. What is effectively happening, and again, three out of the four, is they came to the southern border, and during the process, by which DHS tries to uh, process people, they did not realize either because these uh, suspects were misrepresented or there was a mistake that was made and they didn't realize they were on the terror watch list. So what we have now is the chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, uh, Congressman Mark Green, sending a letter asking for more information about this. And he says here in this letter, I'm going to read from part of it, it says here, quote, the committee's concern that DHS's current practices in processing and releasing known or suspected terrorists encountered at the southern border, uh, is, concern is amplified following the FBI director Christopher Wray's testimony before the Senate Intel Committee on March 11th, where he stated that he's very concerned about human smuggling networks with ties to ISIS of Iraq and Syria. Uh, now, in addition to just more information, Congressman Green is also asking for a classified briefing from the Department of Homeland Security to certain members of Congress and staff on his committee, basically going over these four cases, trying to explain how it is uh, that they got in here at all. So they want more information, just so I'm following this correct, uh, correctly. You got the, the letter. They want more information. Is there something specific in there in terms of what they want Mayorkas to do next? or? Yeah, so they're asking for a couple of specific things. What they want is all of the case file information about these four suspects, where they are now, where their location is. They're wondering if they can also get answers as to what specifically led to these four people being misidentified at the border before some were allowed to go into the country. And again, why it took so long, in, in one case a full year, before DHS realized, oh, this person is actually on the terror watch list. So those are the kinds of details that they're looking for specifically in this letter. I should mention that we also did reach out to the Department of Homeland Security. We have not gotten any response back yet from them as it relates to these cases, Connell. All right, keep us updated on that.